There was a time when I was driving with young children. I was in a white minivan and we were on the street and there was a train, a train station nearby. And as we were driving, there was a man who with a suitcase that was walking on the sidewalk next to us. And I felt the spirit reach out to me and tell me that I should pull over. And so I invited him in. It was raining outside. I said, come on in. So he got in the van. And as we were driving, I said, you know, where are you going? Where's your home? He led me in the direction that I was supposed to go. And as he was guiding, that was my street. We went up to the house. It was just right around the corner from me. And I really didn't know anybody on my street. I didn't have any friends in that area. I'm deaf. So I didn't know anybody there. And as I dropped him off and said goodbye, um, after that, his wife got in touch with me and said, oh my goodness, I thank you so much for you know, bringing him home. I want to learn some sign language. So I felt like God really touched me in my life and gave me that friend by, by the Spirit telling me that I should pull over and invite a complete stranger into my car. Laurel, you mentioned how the Spirit gave you that prompting or spoke to you. How does that feel to you to communicate with the Spirit? It's kind of like a guide dog. As I'm driving, I feel kind of pulled. You know, I felt pulled to go over there. I don't normally give large, strange men a ride in my car, <laughs> but I definitely felt that pull from the spirit.